On Saturday, August 20th, the National Democratic Party took to Virgin Gorda, where Dr. Hubert O'Neill launched his 2011 campaign to contest a seat in the 9th District. Dr. O'Neill made a call for the people of the Virgin of Virgin Gorda to let him in, and another call was made to allow the Honorable Ralph O'Neill to retire, as he has done all he can to serve his country. JTV News' Walter Barrett brings us this report. Dr. Hubert O'Neill officially launched his third attempt to win the 9th District from Premier 9th District Representative Honorable Ralph T. O'Neill last Saturday evening on Virgin Gorda during which time he went on to talk about what he would bring to the people of Virgin Gorda should he be elected, such as a much-needed and highly discussed medical facility on the sister island, complete with a full complement of staff and equipment. Dr. O'Neill made a call for residents to open the door wide, as he has been knocking on it since 1999. According to Dr. O'Neill, the Premier would not move from the chair of District Representative easily. Where is our present representative? He is sitting in an easy chair. Just then he says, man, just send that boy to go clear, clear the land again. But he promised to build the, hus the mini hospital four years ago. In the meantime, the right O'Neill, that's me. I'm outside there knocking on the door. I have been knocking on this door since 1999. Yes, sir. I have been shouting the solution for this efficient health care, for an efficient health care in Virgin Gorda since then. Yes. If you let me in the door, my people of Virgin Gorda, if you let me in the door, I will finally, along with the NDP team, build an efficient emergency center with nurses and doctors stationed at the center around the clock. Absolutely, it is about time. An efficient air ambulance service will be on call to take the sick and injured from Virgin Gorda and Anigada and all our sister islands to the hospital in Tortola in just minutes. Every minute counts. Every minute comes, my people, when you are sick. Yes, sir. The 9th District NDP candidate also touched on the plan to relocate the senior citizens, saying that they will be placed in a much quieter location. Then, your grandmother, who has been living in your home with you, but you know she really needs full-time assistance, which you can no longer provide because both you and your wife are working. So then you decide to put your granny into the senior citizen's home. But then she complains every day about the noise in her head. The noise in her head from the heavy equipment moving in the public yard, public works department yard, and the dust flying all over making her even more sick. The staff at the home, they know they try their best. They try their best but really is a bad situation for our seniors. Then you call our representative to remedy the situation. He declares that, well, I got to look into it while he goes back to cool out in the easy chair. Right there, right in that chair. That easy chair. In the meantime, I am still out there knocking on the door proclaiming that it is time to move the city of Senior Citizen Center to a nice quiet spot with a big yard where our seniors can take a leisurely walk and smell the flowers. Yes, yes, Martin. That sounds good. That sounds good. I like that. Our seniors deserve better. During his presentation, Dr. Hubert O'Neill talked about the airlift situation, stating that if elected, he would ensure that the Virgin Gorda Airport is expanded which in turn would help to make the airport more viable. At last Saturday's launch, a call was also made for the Premier to be retired after having done his best to serve the territory. According to 2nd District NEP candidate Claude Skelton Klein, the Bible says there is a time and a season for everything and the time has come for the Premier to be retired so he can enjoy the latter days of his life. Bertie has laid out for you a case where our good Honorable Premier is sitting in his easy or rocking chair. 
I will not dare say as a young man anything negative or derogatory about our honorable premier. Because for 50 years, he has served his country. For 50 years, he's done the best that he know how to do. For 30 something years, he has served the district. Tonight, we want to say thank you, sir. I said tonight, we want to say thank you, sir. Thank you for doing the best job you could. Thank you for the years of service. But the Bible says that there is a time and season for everything. And the season have come for us to allow the premier to remain seated in his rocking chair and enjoy the latter days of his life. Several other NDP candidates spoke during the launch as well, all sharing the sentiment that should the NDP be elected into power this year, the territory would see a new NDP seeking to serve the people. This is Walter Barrett for JTV News.